Okay, I'm doing a quick analysis here of uh, Yanni, and she is a um, unbelievable athlete and uh, dedicated, hardworking player. Uh, works with Gary Gilchrist and um, the Stocktons on short game. And uh, one of the big things that I've been told by a couple people, told by um, a couple players that have played with her that are men, that she definitely hits it like a guy is their interpretation actually by a few uh, female players that uh, she you know goes after it uh, a lot differently than a lot of the women on the tour um, that is of course changing because the um, players on the, on the tour are getting maybe just a little more technically sound and um, you know are working out and, and are a lot more dedicated so it's really good thing to see a player like Yanni um, put the time in. Uh, this has not been a, a short road, so she, she does all the things that a player is supposed to do. You know, she uh, travels, plays different tours, and uh, puts in hard work. So those are the 99% the reasons, and this is maybe the 1%. So. Um, I got to hand it to Gary also on some of the changes because when I saw her hit balls a couple years ago, she had a pretty severely shut club face and had a took it basically outside on the backswing and then dropped it in uh, to the inside. Sometimes got under plane and uh, hit a lot of block right shots. So anyway, as we're going over her driver, you can see that her club face is basically parallel her address tilt so we called her first tilt which is her tilt at address bent over and her hand path uh, goes inward a few degrees from the left shoulder so you can see how that goes a little more in on tracing an arc and as she goes into her backswing her arms go in roughly you know close to 45 degrees, maybe a touch more in the backswing. And you can see that her shoulders are staying pretty much at the same 90 degrees to her tilt, her forward tilt at address. Uh, now here's some things that are pretty interesting. She gets to the top, it gets a little long, has a little, little bounce here at the top. Um, pretty common, I have a couple girls that do that. Her right hip is higher than her left. And from what I'm told, okay, um, a lot of this would shorten up, in my opinion, if the right arm didn't travel as long as it did, and if her right hip got even higher, but uh, the arms wouldn't get so far back. But what's interesting is that she kind of gets away with it, and when she comes down, she starts unwinding her hips, a lot like Ricky Fowler and Rory do. So we're starting to see a trend now where a lot of the players are doing, you know, that, that are big hitters, they're doing the same things. They return back into flexion with the knees from the top. Um, they start unwinding aggressively and keeping the left arm from dropping behind. So what used to happen, this left arm would get more in and down pretty much where this elbow was. Okay. I don't, I apologize, I don't have any film of it, but I just remember witnessing that. And what they've done is they're able to get this club back on plane. Now, if I want you, you to kind of notice something here. Her face angle actually changed from the second position going back when the shaft was parallel to the ground to release point, which is right here, and her left wrist is actually cupped. Okay? And she's done that to keep the face from getting, you know, basically closed. And if it was closed, she'd probably try to tilt back or change some um, handle position. So she's done a really good job. Left arm straight underneath the shoulders. Hips are slightly open. This heel's coming off a little bit. But pretty much she's able to use the arc here. So she gets into impact. And you can see the hips are open. The handle's gone a little bit higher off the ground than it was at address, but it's within the right tolerance. We don't want any higher than that, um, unless we like the right rough. 
and the shoulders are open a few degrees as well. So you can see how from address she's actually raised up if you can see this kind of correctly. So this has started to raise up and she's come a little bit out of her address inclination just slightly and that's because her hips are rising and extending. So you can see that right there. And then as she comes through it, because of the elbow position, you'll see a little bit of turn down of the shaft. So the shaft starts to turn down and come underneath the uh, elbow plane, which is the red line here. Okay? So I'm going to erase all this so we, we know that this has changed. Okay? So she's extended, strained her legs, and basically exploded off the ground. And I have an alternate view of that that we'll, we'll see. But you can definitely see that there's a great amount of thrust because the right leg straightened out, the hips have raised up, and almost gotten completely level. As she's completely rotating and extending at the same rate. So that shaft's now underneath her right, I'm, excuse me, her left shoulder. Okay, and you know, pretty good action there. She has a little residual long follow through, but that's fine, is what it is. Okay, now we're going to click over to a different view. I don't have one from the front, but we're going to see how her hips move here. So she goes to the top of her swing, and I think this is about a year ago, so you can see the tremendous amount of extension that she produces in her back. So you actually see this interesting move and a lot of big hitters do that. Um, in fact pretty much all big hitters do that. If they don't do that they're not hitting it anywhere. But you'll see this is the big part. So here's her belt and as she's transferring moving forward you can start seeing her hips start to rise before impact and we're seeing a lot of extension. So her belt's moved up and to the left the most. Okay. Laura Davies, a lot of long hitters, they all do that. So this extension is basically a byproduct of the belt rising. So if that's not happening, I don't care what style swing or model, whatever you want to call it, you do it's just not going to hit the ball very far. So um, if you were to emulate that part, let's say you're a, a young you know, golfer and you're a female and you like watching Yanni, this is one of the big things that she does. So her head's pretty much stayed you know, in the middle of her feet the whole entire time, but she's learned to extend, jump, and hit the ball like an athlete. So uh, if you were to look at some of the other female players that are long hitters, like the Vicky Hursts, uh, you know, they do that. If we look at uh, some of the other ones that don't hit it very far, this is one thing that they that they need to be working on. So, anyway, uh, hopefully this makes sense, and uh, and hope you enjoyed it. Take care.